calculate the divergence of the vector field F, often referred to as div F, at the given points. The vector field F is graphed here in blue. Notice how we have a two-dimensional vector field. Div F is equal to the dot product of del and the vector field F, where del is a differential operator, or the partial derivative operator. And if F is a two-dimensional vector field, where P is the X component and Q is the Y component, this dot product is equal to the partial derivative of P with respect to X plus the partial derivative of Q with respect to Y. Which means for our vector field, div F is equal to the partial derivative of 3Y cosine 5X with respect to X plus the partial derivative of 2X squared sine 2Y with respect to y. Notice to differentiate 3y cosine 5x with respect to x, we need to apply the chain rule where the inner function 5x is equal to u. And therefore the partial derivative of 3y cosine 5x with respect to x is equal to 3y times negative sine 5x times the derivative of 5x with respect to x, which is 5, and then plus the partial derivative of 2x squared sine 2y with respect to y, which is 2x squared times cosine 2y times the derivative of 2y with respect to y, which is 2. Simplifying, here we have negative 15y sine 5x, and then plus, here we have 4x squared cosine 2y. Now that we have div f, we can determine the value at the given points. First we want the divergence of the vector field f at the point 1.5 comma 1.5, which is located here in the vector field. Notice at this location we can see the flow is inward, which means the divergence is negative. And let's go ahead and verify this we would have negative 15 times 1.5 times sine of 5 times 1.5 and then plus 4 times the square of 1.5 cosine of 2 times 1.5. To save some time, I've already entered this into the calculator. Just make sure the calculator is in radian mode. The value is approximately negative 30.0149. Going back to the vector field, notice how at this location, the flow is inward. For a quick review, remember, the divergence is positive, the rate of change is outward, like a heated gas that is expanding. In our case, the divergence is negative, and therefore the rate of change is inward, like a cooled gas that is being compressed. If the divergence is zero, the change is not inward or outward, and the vector field is incompressible. Now let's find the divergence at negative 1.5 comma 0. This is equal to negative 15 times y which is 0 times the sine of 5 times negative 1.5 and then we have plus 4 times the square of negative 1.5 times the cosine of two times zero. Notice here we have a factor of zero, and this would be cosine zero, which is equal to one. This is equal to four times the square of negative 1.5, which is just equal to nine. So here we have an exact value. Looking at the location of this point, which is here, notice how it does appear as if the flow is outward, which is why the divergence is positive. I hope you found this helpful.